Well, what I want to do in this um, video instruction is to show you how to be self-sufficient in finding all these things. In other words, there's no way I could find everything for everybody. There's just too many things out there and everybody's so different or whatever. So what I want to teach you here is a step-by-step -step of what to do <laughs> uh, uh, you know, to find everything you possibly can in the way of grants or any uh, assistance money that is. Now, it takes work. See, and I think that's why <laughs> you don't want to do this. <laughs> it's going to be work. It's like going to the dentist. <laughs> Who wants to do that? <laughs> but you have to. You know, that's what life is. If you're not really doing the hard stuff, you're going to wait for the easy stuff come along, and it probably won't. <laughs> Maybe you get lucky and it will, but it probably won't. So really to dig into anything yourself, you have to go a mythological, step-by-step my, my, step <laughs> way to find every possible thing there. Now, I've been doing this kind of work for man, 40, 50 years now. I don't know what, 47, 70, yeah, 77. <laughs> I started probably about 28, 29, whatever. So yeah, boy, that's close already. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get grants, what you call grants, and what you're going to find out is that you're calling them the wrong goddamn thing. <laughs> you can't only look for grants. But I'm going to say, because I had a, 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 a Let's Go Help member from California, she said you can't find any grants. Okay. So here's what you have to do step by step to find all the personal grants that you can apply to in California. Okay. Now, first of all, you go to Google. Okay, and you put in COVID grants. See, you wouldn't want to just put in grants now because grants, you will get too many. You know, uh, what you want, what's happening now, COVID is new. It's only been around for a few months. And so all these grant programs are new. The old grants, everybody knows about, and they're harder to get. The COVID grants really be, be, uh, are, are the opportunities I mean, I'll show you how to get the other ones, too, because people are forgetting about those. So in the second half of this thing, we'll show you how to get all the existing ones that are non-COVID <laughs> because there's so much of them. So about half are COVID, half are non-COVID. But it, it's hard to find the non-COVID using Google. It's easier to find the non-COVID using Google because of the little trick that Google has that you could use. Here it is. Okay, if you put in COVID grants, okay, first of all, look at that, 934 million. So that's a billion goddamn websites. I didn't even know there were a billion websites in the country. <laughs> I know a few years ago there was, so it must be billions and billions now. So that's overwhelming. And you know that most of the stuff is people want to sell you something. Okay, so let's pass that. Now, you want to narrow it down maybe because the national grants are one thing and your the opportunities really belong locally. Now, the national ones, most people know about, and maybe you tried those already and they're out of money or, or whatever. So you want to go locally because that's where they take national money and make local stuff out of it. And that's what's happening with the CARES Act. The CARES came out a couple of months back, but now it's still available at the local. So you can't do a national search uh, because you want to do local searches for that new care stuff that's opening up in the last week, last two weeks or whatever. And usually when they're open, they're closed after a week or two because they ran out of money. So the opportunities are new. Okay, so here's California grants. Now that's 500 million. So now we got it down half. <laughs> you still can't do that. Okay, now here's the trick. Now what I did over here, I take that California grants and what I do, I have one over here, uh, another one, that I go into settings, and down in settings, you see advanced search. That's where you want to go because you want to find the new ones. The new ones are the ones that are going to give you an opportunity. So you want to start maybe in a week, a month. You know, The shorter the time span, the more of an opportunity you're going to have. So you may want to start at a week and see what that is. And by the way, also, you could set up a Google Alerts and get new ones every day. So after you do this work, you get new ones every day. And you check that list, okay? Now, okay, so you pass week, you put advanced search, okay? So now it's searching. Now here you go. Now you got to go through this stuff. You don't go through, you know, how many pages it is. I don't know how many pages. It doesn't give you a count. Uh, but here, there's at least 10 pages here, more than that. So, you know, there's at least 10 pages for COVID-related grants in California. So start skimming here 
what is good that you want to get more detail on to see if it makes sense for you to get even more detail on. It's really a step-by-step -step process. You skim through this, see if there's something maybe for you that you will then click on and find the more detail to find out if you more. Now, this is going to take time. You're not going to finish this in 20 minutes. It's going to take you hours you know, to get through all this, maybe even more and more and more. So you do it for a while and then come back where you left off. Because as you see, uh, uh, we'll have a step-by-step -step on what to do. So you pick it up, you do one thing, and then you go back and do another thing or whatever. That's the only way. Otherwise, tell you the truth, this will be shorter than you going around in circles on Google and never getting anywhere. That's what happens to most people. That does to me. <laughs> <laughs> until I start getting on the phone, and then we'll, we'll do that later. Okay, so here, here's articles. Now, uh, CAP, C-A-P radio. Now, it's a dot org, so that's good. I would look into that, but you read the headliner, find an updated count of COVID cases. Well, that's probably not you. Uh, a $4.3 million grant from the state uh, to provide home for those with disabilities. Ooh, okay, now, so now this is a grant for homes for people with disabilities. Sounds maybe, okay? So that, if you have a disability or know somebody, you want to go into, okay? Uh, and here's another one. Okay, get financial help. COVID-19, COVID uh, you know, okay, two days. Find financial help in your affected COVID in California. Unemployment insurance, paid family leave, disability insurance, okay. So somebody in, in the state, because this is covid.ca.gov, that's something to look at, right? So you wanna do that. See, it's, it's all organized for you if you know how to use Google. Okay, now here's a ringer in here, grantwatch.com. First of all, the alarm bell is .com. Now, I don't know these people from Adam, but I've seen so many of these kind of companies that they, they just go in mass data and they don't get the good stuff. You know, and they get the superficial stuff that makes you look like they're doing a good job. If they're not going to charge you, okay. Yeah, take a look, see what's there. If they're going to charge you, I would pass, but that's me, you know, personally. And maybe you have a different opinion. <laughs> but what happens, I mean, every time I look at it, it's stuff like from the catalog of federal domestic assistance and all kind of jargon or whatever. <laughs> and you got to have English to understand this nonsense. Uh, okay, here's another one. The city of Alameda. Okay, if you're not in the city of Alameda, so it probably doesn't occur to you, uh, make sense to you. But here there their are grant programs, uh, recovery in Alameda. Okay, so see, that's something, a grant for you there. Uh, Here's another one, Grant Station. You know, Grant Station, now they've learned how to Google works. And you know, Grant Watch and Grant Station are the people, every time you get them put in grants for anything, they're going to be there. You know? <laughs> so that's another. I mean, I, I don't, I wouldn't use them, but that's me. I'm biased. I don't trust me. <laughs> I'm wrong. Hmm, the older I get, <coughs> the more I see I'm wrong. Okay, small business majority. Now that sounds interesting. Because if you're a small business, uh, as many as you are aware, the state of California has many municipalities have taken emergency action to slow the spread of COVID. COVID. Okay. In addition to that, I mean, that's a, if you're a small business, yeah, you know, I would look at that and see. I don't want to click because if I click on this, I'm going to lose. I won't be able to. <laughs> but I want to give you a feel for what's in there. Grants from COVID on a regional area. Humboldt Area Foundation, that's a foundation. Very interesting. That last one, small business majority, that's a .org. So you wanna look at that too, because there may be a clue in there for something else, okay? Acres Connection, uh, uh, Finding Opportunity, California ACE's Action, Relief Funds for Family Resource Centers to respond to, COVID. okay, Family Resources, that sounds like a maybe. There's something, so I would do that. See. Now, they may be only for certain areas. There may be not here. LISC, I think we talked about them once before. Uh, here's a small business relief grant. See, all of them we found somewhere aren't bad, you know, to follow up on. You know, not like when you get in Google and get a billion, right? Okay, so that's true. Now, the problem with that is that all the free money is not called grants. Well, uh, you know, I mean, like normally without COVID, you know, of the free money that the government gives out, only 20% is called a grant. So you have 80% that is called something else. So now what you have to figure out is there's another bunch of uh, titles 
that I would use if I were you uh, to find some other ones. So that's another California COVID trends. Uh, or, okay, relief. Another, that's another one. So you want California COVID relief because that's another way they'll talk about it. You know, you get money, you get this, and they won't use the word grants anywhere. And, and you'll miss this one if you're just looking for grants. That's why you have to sort of try to think how <laughs> the, uh, uh, the, the, the robots work, you know, and not only because I studied computer databases in the 70s, you know, I'm always sensitive to that. Uh, but it, it is, it, you do it a lot. And the more refined you get, you know, the closer you get, but then the more refined you get, the more you miss something, you know? So that's why, you know, grants will miss relief, relief will miss grants. And uh, you put in California, you'll probably miss the national programs. So you have to do something else to do that. You know, uh, when you put the word California in, so if you just put COVID grant, man, you know, that's all over the world. You get all of it and you can't find just the national. There's no magic word for that. Okay, so uh, what, and again, don't forget what I did here when I put in COVID, uh, California COVID relief in the settings down to advanced search, I wanna put in, you know, last update last week, okay? So that's what you wanna do, just the last week's worth. See what the new stuff is, because that's the best opportunity. Afterwards, you wanna go back and do it longer, and, you know, a month and see what's there. So down here, okay, I just, you know, this one was in the one before, I think. Get financial, COVID, yeah, COVID-19 California. Remember that? They had that there. Uh, okay, here's one, California Medical Association. Okay, guidance to physicians implementing telehealth. Okay, here's financial relief is available to physicians during COVID-19, okay? So that's right, if you're a doctor, here's where you get a grant, but they don't call it a grant. See, they call it a financial relief. Okay, here's another, waivers and flexibilities. Uh, okay, uh, program flexibilities and contingencies to serve a program participates across 15 nutrition programs. Okay, waivers and flexibility. This is, they're giving you more stuff. Maybe it's food or whatever, uh, because of the they're, they're being more flexible. So this is a, an, op, uh, an opportunity you don't know. Here, the CARES Act works for all Americans through the Corona, Coronavirus Relief Fund, the CARES Act provides payments to state and local navigating the impact uh, of COVID assistance for small businesses. See, so that's what they're doing. The Treasury Department is giving local government money to assist small business. See, and, and, and you don't know how they're going it outward, but see, now you know how to follow it, you know, and, and check it out. See, that's what I mean. This is going to take effort. And if, if you want to go round in circles, fine. <laughs> but I, I always say if you want to do real research, you know, this is what has to be done. Uh, uh, California Apartment Association, Tenant Relief Act, okay? Now that sounds interesting if you're an apartment, uh, live in an apartment. Here, contact your dental plans to urge financial relief. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in other words, uh, this is to, to get relief from paying dental bills. Who would have thought? See, <laughs> you're trying to get a grant to pay for things like that. And here, you don't have to pay for it. See, that's why it, it is, you know, what we know is dangerous <laughs> because there's so much up there. Uh, emergency help, send cash straight to families. Well, that's somebody, that's an org. So you may want to see this. This is an ad, and they call it here an ad. You could see an ad here. And so they're trying to raise money to give the family. So you could be a family getting some of that money, right? So you want to see that <laughs> and apply for the money. Uh, California mayors on the state of COVID. Uh, okay, funding to cities, $225 million went to 13 cities. Uh, maybe worthwhile. That. Here, small business majority. There's that again. Remember that. So maybe pay. city of Berkeley has money for tenant relief in the city of Berkeley. So that's money you don't have to pay your, your rent, right? Mountain View City, a moratorium for rent, uh, a landlord relief, small landlord relief fund, homeowner and tenant. They all relief funds there. No word of grant. But you don't have to worry about paying rent, and if you're uh, you you own an apartment, you don't have to worry about the landlord. I mean, your uh, uh, tenant paying rent because they'll pay it. Yeah. So this is the kind Riverside, California. Uh, I can't see what it is there, and I don't want to click. Uh, here's money for restaurants. 
you know, uh, on the East Bay. So if you're fancy East, I guess that's San Francisco Bay. Yeah. So that is the kind of thing. You have to go, you know, a handful of pages at least to see what's there. Now, so we did relief. We did grants. We did relief. Okay. You want to use assistance. That's the other code word the computer knows. The computer doesn't know if I say, if I say, if I say assistance, it means grants. No, you got to look at it yourself, okay? Uh, and what's here? Feinstein and the Senate. Well, it's something that Senator Feinstein has programs and the, the benefits on her website. So it'd be worth looking there because she's collecting all this kind of information too. Calm Matters, where, where to get financial help uh, during coronavirus in California. Well, that's certainly interesting. See, if you have other people doing the work for you, that's why you come to me. I do this every day. And you say, oh, yeah, you're going to do this once a year or something. <laughs> and uh, I'll, you know, I'll find something for you. There you go. Paul Weiss, uh, okay, Relief Center for uh, assistance to residential renters, okay? Now that's to help renters there. How would you know? If you put in grants, you're never going to know that stuff, you know? United Way, all kinds of food delivery, child care assistance. So that means someone's going to pay for your child care. It's not going to say grants there, right? But if somebody's going to pay you a couple thousand bucks for that, why search for a couple thousand dollars for a, a grant when you get that? Economic assistance uh, in the Monterey County, uh, SBA disaster assistance. Look at it. Small business impact uh, on, uh, from the disaster assistance. Uh, USDA, uh, Food and Nutrition Assistance. FEMA announces lost wages grant for California. Been affected by the flood and the fires and everything going on there. FEMA has a program now that gives out grants. So it, and it's not called grants. It's unemployment or employment or whatever the heck they call it. So it goes on. Uh, here, assistance for businesses impact, uh, you know, a federal emergency manager, resources and assistance for that city, rent assistance, uh, county response fund, uh, virtual local assistance center, you know, all this business relief and support in San Diego. I mean, all these things. So you, you're looking for grants, you're going to miss it. Okay, so we did grants, we did uh, relief, and we did assistance. So that's three. Here's the first one, or the third one. Oh, why do I have grant again? We don't want that. <laughs> loans. <laughs> and the reason if you don't want a loan, what a lot of the loans for emergencies are forgivable. Uh, and or they're going to be incredible low rates. So you get a loan for, you know, $10,000 at 1% interest or 0% interest and you pay off your credit cards, which is 30% interest. So that's what you, so you want to do uh, California COVID loans. Okay. Uh, collaborative uh, LA Times, LA Times economy is slows. Uh, Pacific community ventures.org.org is someone to look at anyway. A dot com and, and it t teases you. It's not bad to let it go because you know they're going to get money from you one way or another because uh, <laughs> they got to pay Google. <laughs> so Pacific Community Venture, uh, Ventures, uh, uh, apply for small business loans, six tips for uh, applications, check eligibility. Uh, here's uh, Cal Coast recognizes uh, the uh, financial relief through deferred payments and financial relief loans. Okay, deferred payments. That means you don't have to pay it back now, right? So that's not bad. At least you get a breather. California and Credit, credit uh, Union League. A new landing credit uh, union mortgages and business loans are being, I guess, for relief there. Business Credit Availability Program, EDC, which is the Cal state of California, is bringing COVID relief and online portals. Okay, great. Newsroom signs lifeline for California small businesses. New Newsroom, <laughs> whatever. That, uh, a new pleasant perk for the novel. Uh, cities block off lanes of traffic and allow businesses to exclude federal paycheck protection program loans. Ah, oh, see. Uh, Lake, Lake County News. Pandemic spurred layoffs across the nation. The federal government created the paycheck. For well, we know about that. Grant Station, okay, stay away from there. Uh, the other, FEMA, more loans. So if you get a FEMA loan, it's better than anywhere else. You probably don't have to pay it back at all. Uh, so that's it. Go through those loans. You may find something. Okay, so now you've searched for all the possible COVID grants. Now, without, uh, and that's using Google, and that's only the new stuff. 
So then you want to go back and remember, put a month and maybe instead of seven days, you know, you put two months or I forget what the options are, but that's how to search that and think of other terms that may be useful too. Now what you want to do is go to the offices in your city that normally know about this stuff. See, besides using Google, you know, that's okay. People are better than Google. People who are in the business in where you live uh, are much better than Google at, at knowing what's available for you locally. They know about local programs. They know about programs that may be here soon. They know about programs that aren't anymore because they get people like you calling all the time and they have to, they help them. They're government employees. They can't not answer that phone. Maybe when the answer is, <laughs> is something debatable, <laughs> but they all work for you. So don't worry. And these are nonprofit organizations. Every one of the next you know, five or six places I have here are, are all nonprofits. You call each one of them. And if you really want to do your research, this is what you have to do. You have to dig, dig, dig. You think anybody that found something cool just, oh, just <laughs> stumbled of it walking down the street. No, they stumble on it by looking for something else. And that's what you do here. You're going to call some organization that's there to help poor people or people in financial trouble. <laughs> and they're going to tell you, and that's why you don't say you want a grant. You don't say what you want. You just say, hey, I need help. I'm in financial trouble and I don't know what to do. Don't say, hey, I need a grant for $50,000. No, shit. You know, you know what that sounds like? That sounds like you're going out on a date and you're picking up the person for a date. And as soon as they open the door, you say, hey, let's go back to my place. And you never met this person before, right? Uh, that's a little shaky, isn't it? <laughs> you got to go to dinner first. <laughs> and see, the, these people are human that you're talking to. And they, the more they get to know you and what your problems are, the easier it is for them to dig down in their subconscious or whatever and find stuff that they didn't even remember. Otherwise, you're going to get answered to question A, B, C. You know, you want them to dig downer, dig downer, <laughs> dig deeper. Boy, be careful when you get old. <laughs> uh, you want to dig deeper. And you do that by you and your personality. So the first one is uh, what's called the Community Action Agency. Go to this website, communityactionpartnership.com, and say, find a cap. When you put find a cap, you put in, there's a whole map there, and you contact them. They know the major programs, particularly for people that are, uh, you know, have limited income. They'll know, they'll you know, they could help you if you're nice. <laughs> Remember, the only thing, they'll get paid the same no matter what the hell you say. Yeah. So they don't care. So you got to say, how are you going to get more out of them than they're going to give you to anybody else? Yeah. And that's what you and your personality. And they have the power now. They know all this stuff a lot better than you. Okay. So that's the community action agency. Okay. The other one is 211. So community action agency is one nonprofit that helps. 211 is a place that keeps track of all the other nonprofits. So if it's for help, for assistance, whatever, income or whatever, call first because they know how the algorithm is set up. It's usually set up by a category and you want to go to 211 for California or for Jersey, New Jersey, whatever. So you Google 211 California, 211 New Jersey and find the main one for the state and uh, that will get you like here. There's for food, mental health, health care, housing, utility assistant, income and transportation. So you got those things. But there's a, all tricks to the data. You don't know the data. They do. They've been using it. So call them on the phone. They have people on the phone say, hey, I'm short of money and I'm screwed. You know, <laughs> what do you suggest I do? They've talked to 100 people like you. And the people that they gave bad information usually call them up and say, hey, <laughs> you stupid shit. <laughs> so they know a little more than what works than you will ever know until you use this 100 times. They've used it 100 times, OK? So that's it. So you have the Community Action Center, uh, uh, the 211. Now, the other one here is HUD. Now, HUD has financial counselors. And here's a map of them. You put click on the map, and you put in your state, and you'll see there's 40 in your state. You find a couple close, call them each. 
say, hey, I'm in financial trouble. Because they help not only rent, mortgage, so none of those programs, but also credit, uh, paying bills, all this kind of stuff. You want to say, hey, I'm in trouble. How could you help me? Hey, I'm in trouble. How can you help me? Hey, I'm in trouble. How can you help me? Don't say, I need a grant for $100,000. Yeah. You got it? <laughs> I'll say no. But they had something that would pay off that hundred thousand dollars that you forgot to listen to. <laughs> so that's why, yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm in financial trouble. Can you help me? That's what you have to do and see where it goes from there. Okay, so you have three things there: community action agency, you got two one one, and the HUD uh, financial counselor. Now, elder care people like me, yay, seniors. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a senior. I still feel like a kid. Uh, but my knee doesn't nowadays. But I've hurt more when I was younger, to tell you the truth. Uh, okay, this is an elder cow hotline. Call them up. Here's the number, 1-800-677-1116. 1-800-677-1116. Okay, call them up. If you have a senior, you're trying to help a senior, whatever. What's a senior? Uh, there's different categories. Usually in this kind of thing, it's 50 or 60 or more. Yeah. So if you're in that age, start there and see what they say. If they say, oh, you're, you're too young, that's nice. Yeah. That's what I remember when I went up to, uh, uh, I think the first time I, I got a senior discount was in uh, London. And we went to the movies and they had a senior discount starting at age 50. And I asked for the senior discount and they gave it to me. And I was angry. I was so pissed off they didn't card me. <laughs> so this is they know free services all kind of trouble you know they have ways to take you pay for your caring pay for your housing pay for your legal help all these kinds of services that are available if you're a senior so find out and that's a central clearinghouse see you could try to search for that you know you never find it so that's why you got to find people who studied this stuff for the last two years, four years, 10 years, or whatever. Hey, yeah, you need that. It's like me. I studied it for 40 or 50 years, or whatever the hell it is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's you give me something, I'll give you 10 of the best places. That's what Let's Go Help is all about. <laughs> uh, but besides that, I'm trying to teach you how to do that. Okay, veterans. This is the best place for veterans to start. These people are in every county. It's called as County Veteran Service Officers. And it's every county, if you go to National Association of County Veteran Service Officers and you go to their directories, you'll find a map there. You click on the map, you call them up and make an appointment. They are there. They get paid grant money like all these other uh, offices I told you about. They get grant money to help find you money or find you a problem, solve your problem. That's what they do. You got these people. Why go on Google and get some huckster like me who's going to charge you? <laughs> you know, uh, and other people are going to charge a hell of a lot more. You know, they'll get hundreds and thousands of dollars for you. These people do it for free. You know, you don't have hundreds and thousands to pay to people. No, <laughs> neither do I. <laughs> okay, so that's, we're down at one, two, three, four. That's five already. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, now here's the other thing, too. Your library. Man. Library <laughs> are a free me. <laughs> you call them up, go down there, however they turn. Hey, I'm looking looking for that. And see, what they're better than me at, too, is knowing local offices. And a lot of this stuff is local. See, uh, I live in Washington. I'm not in every city. Your local librarian know more about uh, local services than I ever will, you know. And they're free. I got to charge you 20 bucks. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> so call them, you know, because they help people all over their uh, community doing that. So they can help you too. And that's it. No, that lady I live with is finally coming home. She's been away for like three <laughs> weeks and finally showing up. You know, I don't know. Uh, okay, so we got uh, the library. What else do we have? Oh, what? You should do too is I think a great place is every county has an office of community and economic development at your county level. Okay, now it's going to be called sometimes a little different, but it usually we'll have those uh, combination of those kind of uh, words in it. Some are called community development and economic development somewhere else, et cetera, et cetera. But community and economic development. Now this is an association, National Association of Counties. <clears throat> And if you go there and you look for a community economic development, what they have is a wonderful map. Look at that map, okay? It's called the County Explorer. 
<laughs> yeah. You find your county, okay? And this is like, uh, I just moved from Montgomery County, so I could put it in there. You could down here and see how they pop up. There's Hyde County, South Dakota, you know, Jewell County, Lincoln County, you know, and there. So instead of trying to find these little dots in here, you can just put in the county name here. Like here, I put in Montgomery County. Here's all the Montgomery counties in the country. <laughs> I want the one for Maryland. There it is. Put Maryland. There it is. You call the phone number here, the contact information here, go on that website, call it. And what you want to see is their Office of Community and Economic Development, okay? And when you go there, you get something like this. And this one is pretty much business oriented. And they have a lot of programs uh, for business, COVID assistance for business, Montgomery County Development Corporation, Explore Mocha Business Stories, uh, Grow Your Business, Start Your Business, see all the programs that are available for everything. They're loaded with programs uh, here at the county level. See, uh, eight steps, uh, there, and that's what you want to do. So you have like a, uh, the Community Action Agency, 211, uh, HUD Financial Counselors, okay, Elder Care Locator, uh, member directory for, oh, veterans, <laughs> county veteran service officers, uh, and a librarian, and then the community, uh, community, and the county community and economic development. So that's one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven offices. Call everyone. Sounds stupid, doesn't it? But it's not. And there's one more you got to call, and that is, uh, oops, that's not there. What did I do with it? Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh. Okay, you want is go to Common Cause. This is going to be the one you will always call a lot more too. Common Cause, find your representative. Okay, and somebody called me that, that, oh, that's some, you know, liberal communist organization. It probably is. I don't know, but they have a hell of a good database. <laughs> I'm not fussy. Uh, and you put in your address here. Okay, and then you get your elected officials. And you will get the, oh, you put in the right address. Let's go. Hey, you getting old, life takes longer. <laughs> you got to correct everything <laughs> if you see it. <laughs> okay, that. And then hit submit. That's what I didn't do last time. I didn't hit submit. Okay, I don't want to make a donation. Okay, here it is. So here, here are my two senators and my congressmen. They have a website. You go there call their offices, call at least three uh, these three offices. Then you have your county and state people. It's all down here. Call as many as you can and tell them, hey, I'm in deep doo-doo financially. <laughs> okay, do you have suggestions? Again, don't call them and say, hey, give me $10,000 so I can get the wolf off the door. No, I have help. Because they may be able to just call the wolf and say, hey, forget this guy. He's okay. <laughs> so you never know the kind of help. Uh, and you just have what's, you know, what you're familiar with. The world is so goddamn big. <laughs> and that's the fun part. Okay? So that's the lesson. You see how much work you have to do? Uh, and it, it sounds long, but think of how many hours you spent going round in circles on Ghoul and not getting bubkis. <laughs> okay, and this is what I'm trying to teach everybody on, on Let's Go Help. It's not only point you and help you, you know, do this kind of stuff, but it's help you do it without me, show you how to live in this world of information society. I've been studying information and research for 30, 40 years. It's not only this business. Uh, whether it's computerized or whatever. I, I had a computer software company back in the 70s that was interested in this and showing people how to get information to make decisions that and solve problems. I've been doing this for 40 or 50 years and, and I, I just want to keep doing it. I'm sure I got another 10, 15 in me. So you'll be able to hear these tacky jokes for about 10, 15 more years.